you know, like this do, uh, mean for this program? Well, we're excited. You know, we're uh, fortunate one to be playing at home. Uh, one kudos to um, our commissioner uh, for uh, getting the uh, Pac-12 uh, to uh, really uh, come in to, to play us and, and to get the type of partnership and agreement uh, to be able to do this to get a home game like this, and it's huge. We've generally on the road uh, for so many games, and we win, and uh, we've been fortunate to win out there. But to have an opportunity to win in front of our home crowd, uh, it was uh, great for us. You guys kept it late. I mean, you guys kept it close throughout the game and were able to get into OT. When it went into overtime, what were you thinking and what were you telling your guys late in that ball game? Well, they made a big push. I think they got up 12 on us. Uh, there were about seven minutes to go in the game. It was a deficit. We had to get time out, uh, regroup, and get going. We're fortunate that PJ, uh, who we didn't have the other night in the game, was able to get going. We were able to get him some looks offensively, um, and he executed. On the defensive end, I thought we were able to put, raise our level up another notch, and uh, we rebound the basketball uh, well. We got 50 rebounds tonight against a very lengthy team, which was huge for us. You kind of touched on it earlier about having an opportunity to play at home, but when the clock you know hit zero and you guys win the game, how nice was it to look around and see your guys and your fans in the Stand celebrating that win with you guys. Oh, really good. I just I, I'm excited for our fans. You know, for our fan base. Anytime we have an opportunity uh, to celebrate and share in with them, usually we win. If it's on the road, you don't have your fans there. You just go off your locker room back on the plane. But to be home and have an opportunity to celebrate with our fans uh, today has certainly uh, meant a lot for us. Coach, talk about uh, not just playing this home opener uh, against Power Five, but also having. The other non-conference games that are scheduled along the way before conference play starts. Well, it's what we do each year. We've been certainly benefiting this year for having some home games, especially uh, uh, planned today. And then on Tuesday, you got Old Roberts, and then we go across the street and play University of Houston. It uh, certainly helps us uh, to prepare for the grueling uh, conference schedule. Uh, that we fight with uh, each year. Uh, but for this early part of the season with a lot of new guys uh, on the team, I'm certainly impressed and excited uh, about where we are today. Also, you all are crowning a new, the, uh, a new floor. Uh, that's a good way, to, <laughs> good way to get it started. Right. Well, I guess we uh, certainly are Christian it today and uh, coming out against a remarkable basketball team in Arizona State because uh, those guys are very tough out. They're a very good basketball team, very talented, and we certainly had to do a lot of things there at the end, right? Uh, and the ball had to fall our way for us to finish the way that we did. Coach, you guys kind of willed your way to victory in the second half. P.J. Henry did a really good job coming off the bench, had a foul trouble early on. You know, you, you know, can you explain a little bit more about, you know, what you guys have to fight through in the second half to get that victory here at home? Well, one, you know, obviously P.J. been a little bit banged up uh, the game before, not playing, unfortunately, foul trouble there in the first half. In the second half, and even coming back from like a 12-point deficit with uh, seven minutes to go, I thought the guys did an excellent job of maintaining their poise, playing extremely hard on the defensive end of the floor, and then offensively executing at a high level when we needed to. We didn't shoot a great percentage for the day, but we shot a great percentage for a segment of the game to put us in position to win. You got to love what your freshman did, Mortal, that tip in at the last second. You know, he played huge. He played really good on defense, but offense, he had that tip in for you, kind of seal up that victory. You know, stepping up to the free throw line with uh, just very little time left, and unfortunately, the free throw not going down. He had a change, chance to hang his head, uh, but he just continued to play. He put that behind him quickly. He went out and played great defense and then battled on the boards with a huge tip in there at the end. I couldn't be more excited for him because he's a gamer, plays extremely hard. He's a gutsy kid and we're fortunate uh, he made a big play for us at the end. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Coach, Travis Williams, HBCU All-Star Sunday afternoon game, the crowd, energetic. Tell how you, how you feel after a win like this? Couldn't be more excited uh, to be home against a great quality team like um, Arizona State. Those guys are a very tough um, out force and uh, to have them in here with the atmosphere here that we had at home on Sunday afternoon, it was huge for us and I uh, thought our guys did an excellent job. We talked about it before the game. We had to play a full 40 minutes, but we also added for however long it takes, we have to make sure that we're um, engaged and we're able to do that. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, anything else that you, you want choose to comment on? No, the thing is we just want to make sure our fans are out on um, uh, Tuesday night uh, against a very good basketball team and Old Roberts uh, that we'll be playing here. We're looking forward to uh, them coming out and, and uh, creating this atmosphere and environment here in our arena. Well, Coach, you got it. you set up a tough non-conference schedule. 
teams that are, that could easily be in the tournament this upcoming season with the tournament finishing out here in Houston. It never, you never know. Oh, no, that's why we play the game. And uh, we're excited about the opportunity to be able to play it. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. This is Jerry Lee Woodley, Jr. Signing off, the College Sports Reporter.